back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials like this and now just scroll down a little bit open this link in incognito first of all and if you just follow the way i'm doing the lab you will not face any issue for sure okay and i will let you know where you can might face the issue so just log in with your student id over here and now just scroll down a little bit and copy the name for the cluster called sandbox just copy this make sure you do not uh, copy an extra space over here so now click on submit and just wait for a few seconds now here you can just uh, choose anything okay let me just show you what what do i mean okay here you can just choose anything okay any language or like this and simply click on finish just wait for a few seconds again now simply click on this free option click on create now here please make sure you choose the google cloud and just scroll down and here replace the name which we copied called sandbox and simply click on create cluster so we have done with all these things now simply click on this database now click on this add current ip address and here you can see your cluster is been created so just wait for a few seconds and once you see the loading like this just replace uh, refresh the page and here you can see load sample data to sandbox so simply click on load sample data set okay then click on this database access now click on this add new database and here if we just scroll down from here create database users so just copy this app user paste the name over here make sure you do not include an extra space copy this and paste over here here you can see just no, there is no extra space okay now click on this add built-in role from here choose the second one call read and write to any database and simply click on add user now here many of you guys might miss this step okay so i will recommend you to just do this thing just copy this do not copy that full stop just copy that ip address and click on this network access then click on this add ip address and here just paste that ip address okay and you can give any comment like this and simply click on confirm okay so you have done with all these things now what you have to do just create one data set so just copy the name make sure you do not copy that full stop just copy this go to your dashboard and here simply click search for the big query in the search bar open this thing in new tab done click on this three dot create data set replace the name over here from here choose region and us central one okay now click on create data set now what the extra thing here you have to do if uh, from here you can just confirm uh, did you create data set or not in the dashboard search for the iam okay that uh, extra thing we have to do in this lab okay so now just copy the, your username and search over here and uh, most of the time the uh, this principle is in last option okay so just simply click on this uh, added principle then click on add another role and here search for the data flow and from here choose data flow admin okay make sure you choose that otherwise you will face the issue on the next task so yeah done now if you just click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you don't do this step you will face the issue over here so just open this link in incognito now copy the name make sure you do not copy that full stop so just copy this paste the name over here and for the data flow template scroll down copy this thing and we have to choose the batch one okay so just replace the name make sure there is no extra space in the if i just give extra space over here like this i can't find the template okay so make sure of that thing 
and from here we have to choose the batch one so just simply click on that and just wait for a few seconds and you will get a other option to add the parameters so now here what we have to do is just go to your mongodb and then click on this uh, database then click on this connect then click on this connect your application and from here choose java please choose java and for the version for me it's 4.3 or later and for you if it's the another one like 4.4 uh, 4.5 4 you can choose that one now copy this and let me just do one thing on my notepad you can just do all the thing is directly over here but uh, many of you guys might miss this step because yeah so that's why i'm telling over here if you just scroll down we have to just copy this password make sure you do not copy that full stop and replace the password over here like this okay and there is no extra space also here so just please make sure of this thing just copy this thing paste over here for the mongodb database if this is a database copy this paste over here then copy this collection name copy this and paste over here and now for the bigquery destination table scroll down copy this project id dot sample uh, mflex movies now copy that paste over here you can just do all the thing directly on that field also just copy your project id and here from project id select this and replace with your project id then uh, full stop then sample underscore mflex dot movies so just copy this come over here and paste over here like this and then copy this none and paste now simply click on run job now just wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes it's take around that much time and after that you can just move ahead the last task okay so now just wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes
So now you can see it took around 6 minutes and 48 seconds to success the flow. Now what we have to do if you just come over here and here you can see uh, we already got a score for the task number 3. If I just click on check my progress so it will give the green tick. Now in the task number 4 we don't need to run the first query. You can just copy the second query. Go to your big query and in the editor option just paste that query and here we have to do just copy your project id and replace over here and here you can see i have to make changes over here and as well as here so just replace like this and please be very careful with this okay it must be look like this and just simply click on run now it will take few seconds so just wait for that and it's query it's completed now no need to run this query you can just simply run this uh, last query of this task so just copy this come over here and replace this and again copy your project id and here we have to make the changes please be very careful while making the changes in the query so yeah it, this is the screen now just simply click on run so it this 
query will take few seconds so yeah if you get like this kind of error do not worry about that query is completed now if you just come over here and click on check my progress you will get a score for sure as you can see i got a score and uh, if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day congratulations